Dragonage24 here with the second quest of Ghosts and Goblins. It's a special request from a friend of mine. Now, as I'm taking time to get the dagger, I wanted to get something straight. I did not post this video as a response to the Irate Gamers review of Ghosts and Goblins to bash on him. I rather enjoy his work. It was his review of Ghosts and Goblins that inspired me to make these playthrough videos and learn how to make videos in general. If it weren't for Irate Gamer and his video, I never would have made my videos. So this is my way of saying thank you to him. Now, that's out of the way. As you can see, the monsters have gotten a bit faster, zombies move faster, shots fly at you faster, and you'll see that the Red Devil is going to be a bit more aggressive. So far, so good. kind of got me that time. Now here you're going to see something that I didn't show the first time through. Set a replacement on it. Okay, let's see if I can actually hit one of these guys this time. Ah, no such luck. We see bunny hopping for bonus points. That swirl is the old Capcom symbol, and it's worth 5,000 points. S the swarm of ghosts is a bit thicker in the level this time through, and things get a can get a bit crazy. Like right about here. Ick. Okay, Cyclops is a bit more aggressive. He likes to charge, but he's easily dealt with if you stay sharp and move to avoid him. Now here's a special bonus, two levels for the price of one, no waiting, straight on to level two. Okay, now, the blue devils are back in this stage, thankfully they aren't armed, but they are a bit faster. Taking the same path I did before, and there's another old Capcom symbol and another 5,000 points. Nothing to it. Now coming into this, you'll notice the birds are a lot faster. These guys cause, cause serious problems throughout this level. The ghosts come out two at a time now. You better watch out. The ogres, you notice, are faster this time, which works both for and against you. Good because they move away faster, but bad because they can close the distance between you faster. Now I'm going to take the time to kill the ogres on the other side of the wall. It makes the climb down much easier. If you thought these assholes hold around the ladder when you're trying to climb up, just try climbing down. Ow, oh, stupid bird. Ah, crap, how did I not see that coming? <sighs> okay, let's try it again. Ghosts, killing one, and saved by the glitchy pit. Oh, see, missed me that time. Ah, god, fucking bird. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. There's a replacement arm armor higher up in the building. You'll see. Okay, once the two ogres on the other side of the walls are taken care of, it's pretty smooth sailing. Now, folks, is it, I have an extra special treat planned for you. For the first time ever, I'm going to show you all exactly what is going through the mind of the hero, Arthur, as he makes his way through these dangerous lands to save the princess. We're going to turn off the game audio and show you Arthur's internal monologue. This guy is seriously fucking the head. Don't say I didn't warn you. 